hi everyone thanks for watching um, this is a follow on from my previous video so um, if you don't know how to, to open your or to enable your developer console if you go and watch the previous video first on um, how to enable the developer console uh, because we're going to use this method for um, finding out the part names of uh, of these accessories you can see in this example here that these side skirts which are a skinnable part they haven't been named in the in the skin file and so what happens is by default these parts will use the same skin as the truck cabin so we'll need to go in and fix that um, but the first thing that you need to be able to do is to get the the part name so what you want to do is you click on you know the parts that don't work there's several in this case but we'll just we'll just use one but once you've clicked on the part you open your developer console and then scroll down to the bottom so down the bottom these white lines the, the red lines are, are errors just uh, you can ignore them well <laughs> unless they're major uh, so yeah in this case um, we are going to look at the vehicle accessory so that's the the part and then the name is here in the middle you'll see Scania.S2016 so that's the truck that it's for uh, on the right hand side it says dot side skirt so side skirt is the slot position so that that slot there that's called side skirt um, that one there this is the front fender so it's called F underscore fender so the part name here you're looking for the slot position which is side skirt and then the part name is this bit here so it's LNG underscore P underscore 2 and if you're looking at the multiple parts I've loaded them up already I've clicked through them and that's them further up in this list so there's LNG underscore P underscore V8 underscore 2 um, so that's that's how you get your part names using the developer console so you need to remember that the name of the slot position so this one side skirt and then on this side you have the actual internal name of the part okay and here is one other method that you can use to find your your part names um, if the modder or the the creator of of the mod has left the mod unlocked or open then you can go into the file and have a look around so you need to have um, some form of uh, zipper software WinRAR or 7-zip this one's WinRAR um, and you will find the the code or the the, the names in the the dev folder so you'll find there's, and depending on what mod it is, there's different folders there. Usually you're skinning stuff and your 3D models and, and the actual um, the majority of the mod itself is actually in the, in the vehicle folder. And then all the coding um, is in the, the def folder. So you go into def and then vehicle you've got different options here but you want to go into truck and then because the long line is a Scania S we're going to go into the Scania S and here you've got interior chassis cabin accessory so it's the accessories folder that we're looking for now if you remember these are all the the slot position names here so you've got curtain underscore F exhaust underscore L so that's left exhaust uh, 
exhaust underscore R. Um, and we were looking at side skirt. So if we open the side skirt folder, and these are the the parts. These are the side skirt parts. Now sometimes you'll find that these files aren't actually named the same as the part name. I've found that a few times when I've I've typed in this name here and it's been completely different inside. So um, we can double click on this one. And it should open up with something like Notepad. I use Notepad++. That's another handy tool for editing dev files. And you'll see here, accessory add-on data. Uh, and it's in the same format as you see in your developer console in-game. So you've got the truck name in the middle. We have the slot name on the right-hand side, side skirt. And then this part name is LNG underscore P, so that's long line painted. You'll then have the the actual written name. That's that's irrelevant. That's just how it displays in the game. Um, but this is the other way of um, finding out the internal internal name by using the the dev files. That's LNG underscore P LNG underscore P underscore V8 underscore 2 um, pretty much exactly the same so I hope this video has been helpful and then I'll clip this and then we'll do another video um, of actually how to use these part names to fix your skin Thanks and goodbye.